All right, put the can down. All right, well, one more second. No, no, put the can down. Okay. All right, all right, Joey, you sing the high part. Hey, you got it. Shoot, do I? Shoot, do I? About my brothers and me We don't have a pedigree But we're brothers We might follow different dreams We might play on different teams Where it counts behind the scenes We're brothers We might march to different drums We might disagree Don't you know when trouble comes You can come to me You're my family because if this is what you look like after eight hours of rest... I have one more payment on this place, Kel. Do you know what that means? Yes. After you pay it, you'll have none. I could always talk to you. I never owned anything before, Kel. Oh, sure, I know what you're saying. What about shirts? Well, I'm not talking shirts here, Kel. I think you know that. I do. See, I can talk to you. Joe, I think that's great. But... We're talking about a huge responsibility here, Kelly. And I'm talking to Mrs. Olson. I couldn't sleep. One more payment. Hey, hey, hey! Hey, hey, hey! Hey, Lou! Be that as it were, I got news all big. Help! I think I ran over this on the way here. <laughs> ah, that there's one of my pals. See, I was down at the construction site. I was throwing hot bolts at Stinky Montrose. He was assembling a beam? No, he annoys me. <laughs> anyway, Stretch comes over and tells me all about this great deal he's got on pelts. I buy him up for a song. I sell him to the public. I clean up. Lou, how much do you pay for them? Ten bucks a shot. And how much are you going to sell them for? Ten bucks a shot. <laughs> Ooh, that's even money. How do you make a profit? Volume! <laughs> so, how's about it, Kel? You want to buy one of these? You could sleep with them. They're nice and fuzzy. So is Billy DeGozio, but I don't sleep with him. <laughs> Hello, sports fan. Jeez, look, his knees is naked. I was in the park playing soccer, you hard wooden thing. Donald, you like to play soccer? Why not? I get to run around with a bunch of Brazilians in their shorts. Grab <laughs> a glass of water, please. Yes, yeah, sure. There you go. Haven't you got anything with a little sparkle? My God, boy, you're a homosexual. <laughs> So how'd you do in the game, Donald? Great. Scored two goals and a trip to Rio. <laughs> the only bummer was the men's room was locked. I had to tinkle in the bushes like Sabu. <laughs> oh, I love to go to the bathroom outdoors. Makes me feel like I'm giving something back to nature. <laughs> you feel the breeze in your hair and hear the sound of the birds in the running water. <laughs> I wish I had a large polo mallet. Hey, hey, don't we all? Well, I better be going before I cool down, or before Sergio does. Sergio? I tackled him at the end of the game. He's meeting me at my place. Donald, you don't tackle in soccer. Mind your own business. Mr. James is robbing this train. <laughs> Jojo. Do you ever see an animal born with a union label? Lou, these are fake furs. Fake? 
Jeez, that stretch ain't got no scruples. Now I'm glad I give him a bad check. <laughs> hey, how you doing, sweetheart? Have we met? Dated? Spent a quiet evening sipping champagne while I pressed the roses you brought me between the pages of my diary? No. Then don't call me sweetheart. <laughs> Name is Benedict. Can I help you? Oh, yeah. Uh, I just saw a guy run out of here, a uh, real flitty-looking type. He got in a cab, you know? Donald? Uh, Donald, that's his name. Uh, where does he live? Why? Well, because I was chasing him, and I uh, lost him, and I want to find him. You a cop? No, I'm a chiropodist. I want to tell him his shoes look too tight. <laughs> what did he do? Well, I got him for uh, evading arrest, indecent exposure, but if I get my hands on him, I got my heart set on resisting an office. Have a nice day. Interesting. Oh, what do you think? <laughs> very, very interesting. What, what? Men, money, fame, men, health, love, men? <laughs> no. A young woman will come to you bringing good news. Boy, are you in the crap? <laughs> or three guys will come bringing bad news. <laughs> what are you doing here? Donald, remember what you told us today about Sabu in the bushes? What do you mean? Look, I don't mean to be rude, but could you hit the pike? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Donald, see you next week. You're known as the finger. <laughs> I'm known as the toe, Joe the Toe. <laughs> Dieter, you better go. I have to talk to my friend Cliff. And two heterosexuals. <laughs> so you want to tell me why you're here? Donald, after you left, a cop came in looking for you. Elliot Mandelbaum, Bunko Squad? <laughs> no. Oh, of course not the slime. No flowers, no card, nothing. <laughs> Donald, this cop, he wants to arrest you. For taking a whiz? For indecent exposure and evading arrest. Evading arrest? Yeah, he said that you left in a hurry. What, I'm gonna stand there and take snapshots? <laughs> I was standing in a briar patch. Wait, there's something else you're not telling me. Okay, okay! <laughs> when I was in the seventh grade, I killed Mrs. Garvin's dog. It was in error. I was in error. Thanks for sharing that. His name was Whoopi Cushion. I thought he was. Very painful for me. Donald. <clears throat> this cop, he, uh, was kind of ambitious. And he's out to pin something on someone. Or something to that effect. You got it. <laughs> Innocent people have nothing to worry about. Tomorrow morning, I'll go down to the station house and straighten all this out. I'll also give them a piece of my mind about locking bathrooms. Hi, fellas. I'm here to take Donald Maltby for a little ride. Donald. <laughs> We've been calling all day. Look, Joe, if, if anything bad had happened, we would have heard from Donald's lawyer. He doesn't have a lawyer. He has a reader. <laughs> Hi, Kelly. Hi, Daddy. Don't you ever go to the bathroom when there's no bathroom. <laughs> well, there goes the weekend. <laughs> Hi, gang. Boo. Did you hear anything? No, I went down there. They said he's still in detention. 24 hours. This whole thing is crazy. It happened to my aged Aunt Agnes. Really? 
She was having her usual canasta game in her finished basement. The cops broke in and busted him. For playing canasta? Well, that and the cockfight. <laughs> the cock died. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> what happened? Sick. All night and all day in prison. <laughs> My God, I'm livid. Same thing happened to Kelly's aunt. Is that so? Yeah, her cock died. <laughs> well, a night in jail will do that to you. <laughs> All night, huh, Donald? That must have been horrible. It was. All those criminals leering at you. Oh. Crowded and smelly. Donald, did anybody hurt you? Yes. One guy. Frankie. Told me I reminded him of Mickey Dolenz. <laughs> Can I have a glass of wine, please? Sure. <clears throat> Just thank God that it is all over. It's not over. It's not? I ran into Officer Mercury down there. At the police station? What's he doing there? <laughs> He's a policeman. Yeah, and? He works there. I told him to check in on you. He's a good guy. Well, he told me this Benedict was bumped off homicide. And now he's out to make a few quick arrests and get back. Bing, bang, boom, Donald, you're it. Open for business? No. Well, good. I may make sure it stays that way. I don't like threats. Nobody does. That's why they work so well. <laughs> I wouldn't want anything to happen to close you down. Now, look. I worked my whole life for this. And it's almost mine, so it's a lot to lose. But I don't have a thing to worry about, buddy. Do you know how many violations you're not aware of? Oh, wait a minute! Look, Buster, you may think I'm just some young punk, but I've got to tell you, I think you are scum. You are a disgrace to your badge. You know, I was raised to respect the law, even fear it, but I don't respect you. I'm not afraid of you. You don't scare me one bit. Well, yeah, what's your name? Zelda Fern Wilder. <laughs> Think about it, boys and girls. All right, wait a minute, Benedict. This is between you and me. Why don't we step inside? Oh, ho, ho. this may just make my day. So what am I doing here? I want to have a little chat, man to man. Men don't have a little chat. Men bullshit. You know these charges are trumped up. Why are you doing this to me? First off, they're not trumped up. You are charged with indecent exposure and evading arrest. Too bad you don't feel like getting into it because we could add resisting arrest. I did not evade arrest. I had to chase you. I was jogging. <laughs> don't tell me. You have a son, he's gay. You hate all gays, you hate your son, you love your son, you hate your son, and I'm gonna pay for it. I'm not married. Oh, oh. Oh. Oh, I see. No, you don't. I'm in vice. I hate vice. Maybe you're not doing it correctly. <laughs> you know, I used to be in homicide. I loved homicide. I gave my life to it. You know how many women want to marry you and any day they could be a widow? I would think in your case that'd be a selling point. <laughs> they said it was an embarrassment. Dirty Harry without the laughs. So after 20 years, I'm a vice cop. Now my entire life is spent beating the bushes for bastards like you with your pants around your ankles. Well, I can understand why you never married. What does your daddy do? He's a whiz monitor. <laughs> The 
best one you ever came up against. The best? Oh, yeah. You say the best? Yeah. You're the worst. The best are the best because they believe in themselves. They believe in their work. You don't believe in either, do you? You're a lonely, bitter, hateful man. You have no friends. Know why? Know why? Look at yourself. Would you be your friend? I mean, you were probably a good cop at one time. And now you're letting your bitterness destroy everything you've ever worked for. Would you like you? Would you trust you? Answer me, would you? No. <laughs> what? I said, no, you're right. I'm lonely, I'm bitter, and yes, I'm hateful, and I've been taking it out in the world all my life. You don't have to be lonely. Well, nobody likes me. You're a son of a bitch! <laughs> It's very difficult to be a nice person when you're lonely, bitter, and hateful. Oh, so you arrest innocent people. It's the only way I get to meet anybody. You play gin? Gin? Are you... I would... No, 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 he's gonna let me go. He's gonna drop the charge. Oh, please don't die. Oh! What happened? Oh, did I tell you? I'm thinking of moving. I'm going to run away, Donald, as far as the system of transportation reaches. <laughs> Tennessee Williams Glass Menagerie. Let go of it! Donald! Donald! Did you stop it now? You stop it! <laughs> now, you don't want to jump out that window. You can't keep running away. But what would that accomplish? Oh, you're right. You're absolutely right. No, you're not! Donald, this thing won't stop itself. Now, you gotta face it. Just leave me alone! You hear me? Just leave me alone! Ah! Oh. We gotta figure out what to do. Maybe he just needs to think this thing through. You're right, I can't run away. <laughs> That's the Donald I know. I'm proud of you, Donald. Me too. Now, you have nothing to worry about. I mean, it's not like you murdered anyone. Hey, I think this guy's dead. I'm in the toilet! No, you're not. No, you're, he's not dead. Then he needs a bath. <laughs> I think, I think we ought to go with plan B. Look, I'm gonna make a phone call. I want you to go and wait in the kitchen. Oh, great. Is this a proposal? Donald, just do what he says. This guy can add assaulting an officer if we don't put a stop to things. I hope you know what you're doing. Now, don't you worry here. We talked this over, and I think that Joe's idea is very good. Oh! No! <laughs> Another beer, hot shot? Hot shot, I like that. Yeah, well, there's more where that came from. <laughs> I, uh, think you'll like this brand. It's Norwegian. You're right. <laughs> Jojo, ain't this guy ever gonna get drunk? Shh. Want him to hear us? He didn't hear us. He can't hear us. Hey, do you hear us? <laughs> Benedict, you don't believe that Donald would intentionally try to hurt you, do you? Of course I do. I planned it. I figure if I keep on pushing a little pans, he's gonna take a slug at me. Now he goes straight from misdemeanor to Mr. Felony. I have a feeling somebody locked those bathrooms Sunday. Well, you do, do you? It could be. I, uh, I make two, three collars a week that way. You're a rotten bastard. It's a rotten world. 
Yeah, filled with crazy mixed up kids looking for kicks the only way they know how. In a world gone mad, a world they never made. <laughs> but I digress. <laughs> All right, guys, you can relax. You think I don't know what you're trying to do? You mean you know we're trying to get you so drunk you can't file a report? <laughs> well, I didn't think you were pushing that stuff down me because you liked my nose. Look, if you're gonna run us in, why don't you just do it? Well, now, that's a pretty good idea. But first, where's your bathroom? Bathrooms a lot. They're broken. <laughs> hey, this is a public establishment. I could, I could close you down. For what? We're closed. Just a bunch of friends having some drinks together. Oh, really gotta go, huh? <laughs> Just cut it out. You guys, uh, you guys just, uh, wait, wait right here. You just wait, wait right here. Donald, Donald! Ready, Lieutenant? Ready. Now? Now. <laughs> Just a little overexposed. Ooh, I'll pay. All right, I'm really gonna nail your butts. Officer Benedict, I believe you know Lieutenant Murtry. Benedict, you were hell-bent to make the rest of us look like scum, aren't you? Hey, now, wait a minute. Whose side do you want? I got a badge just like you. Maybe you do and maybe you don't. Let's go talk to the captain about being, uh, reasonable. Wait a minute. You guys set this up. <laughs> You're a sneaky, deceitful bunch, aren't you? Yeah. You guys are all right. <laughs> Lieutenant Murtry. Thanks. Yeah. My pleasure. Lieutenant Murtry. I ain't the great guy you think I am. <laughs> I once sat on a Pekingese. <laughs> on purpose. Thought it would make a funny sound. <laughs> Did it? Yeah. <laughs> Try not to let it happen again, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> You all right? I think so. I mean, Benedict got what he deserved, if that's justice. The Murtries dish out justice and they get it back. But the Benedicts, well, water seeks its own level. <laughs> <laughs> you guys came to bat for me. I'll never forget it. Well. What do you say we all have a drink to celebrate? Good idea. Well, I'll meet you. I gotta go to the bathroom. Oh.